Okay, polar form of complex number by M.D. Tosef Ibrahim. Okay, join my class. My contact number is there and the monthly fees is 10,000. Now, please like and subscribe Advanced Mathematical Research by M.D. Tosef Ibrahim. Okay. So, let's see. Today we are going to read about complex number and one of the topic of the complex number is the polar representation of complex number. Okay. So let's see that uh, what is a polar representation of complex number. Okay, so let's first draw x-axis. Okay, so this is our x-axis and now draw y-axis. This is our y-axis. Okay, now the point of intersection of x-axis and y-axis will give you origin that is O. Now let's consider a point P which is at a distance one from origin and that is on x-axis so this is our point p which is at a distance one unit from the origin okay in cartesian coordinate system we can represent it by one comma zero now its distance from the origin as i said is one and let's say that r is equal to one now let's draw a circle. Now what is a circle? Circle will be obtained when the point P moves 360 degree. Now let's consider one of the point on the circle and call it as Q. Now since this point Q is moving on the circle, its distance from the origin is constant and thus we can write the coordinate of point Q as 1 comma 0 because r is constant in the circle we know that the radius of the circle remains constant as the point p moves from p to q now yes the point p is moving from p to q and thus we obtain another vector or a point q which is 1 comma 0 now let's assume that the point Q is making an angle theta with x-axis. So it is equivalent to rotating point P by an angle theta in counterclockwise direction. Now, now let's see that uh, what happens here. So let's use the annotation. My pen is here. Okay. So. What is happening at the point P, which we can write as a complex number Z, which is equal to R into E raised to I times theta. That is the polar representation of the complex number. Because we know that any complex number Z, which is equal to X plus iota times Y, can be represented that is this is our rectangular form can be represented in polar form as z is equal to r times e raised to i times theta so what is the meaning of i times theta it means that if i am having a vector r here then i am rotating this vector by an angle theta here we are rotating this vector by an angle theta so what is rotating point p is rotating by an angle theta to obtain another complex number q and we write this complex number q as r this is r times e raised to i this is iota times theta because here what happens to the point in the point q the point p has moved by an angle theta so here we wrote the complex number z as r into e raised to i times theta what is theta here zero so e raised to i times zero is one and thus we obtained r and r is equal to one only hence we represented the complex number here as one and when this complex number one rotated by an angle theta when this complex number one rotated by an angle theta then how we represented it we represented it like z is equal to r times e raised to i theta means r has rotated by an angle theta so when the r 
z is equal to r here when this r will rotate by an angle theta we obtain another complex number z and that is equal to e that is equal to yes yes that is equal to r times e raised to i times theta so we say that my real complex number which was r is equal to r is equal to 1 has rotated by an angle theta to obtain another complex number z is equal to r times e raised to i times theta now we will see that how we can project this point q to the x-axis and y-axis because we know that any complex number z can be written in the form because we know that any complex number can be written in the form like this okay now what is x component here? so this is my x component okay and what is my y component this is my y component okay this is my y component okay I think that uh, let me delete it okay I want to erase all okay now what is my what is the projection of point Q onto the x axis? So the projection will be what? Now we know that R here is equal to 1. Um, now we know that any first we will come to projection, but first consider that any complex number z can be written as x plus i times y, where x is called the
advanced mathematical research by MD Tosef Ibrahim. So you can like and subscribe. So you can like and subscribe and share as much as you can. Okay. So you can see that. So you can join the course at rupees ten thousand, both physics and mathematics classes. Thank you.